All right, everybody, welcome. It is Monday, February 26, 2018. Today is the first day of Code Freeze um, for the 110 uh, release cycle. So this is a pretty epic uh, part of the process here where we're starting to focus on release fidelity and get a good understanding about what the release branch holds. And so at 6 p.m. today, uh, Pacific time, we will be uh, turning on the switches in the bot. There's actually a switch in the munger that uh, sets to code freeze, so we'll do that. Um, probably need some help from uh, some Googlers to, to make that happen because the munger has to be, I believe the munger has to be restarted. So um, yeah, so uh, I will be uh, getting some help, looks like from Cole, so. Um, yeah, that's me. Thank you so much, Cole. I really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, uh, today's a great day. Uh, let's go ahead and get right into the, the meeting minutes. If you're watching this video after the fact and want to follow along with the actual minutes that we take, they're available at bit.ly slash kits110-burndown. So just a quick note about schedule. So this week, uh, we're starting code, code freeze. and um, it looks like there's an interesting question here about Munch GitHub still responsible for enforcing code freeze or do we uh, live in a tied world now? Uh, who put the question in there? Don't be shy. Okay, well, as far as I know, we're still in a, in a Mungy world, so. Um, yeah, so Tide is a little different than Munch GitHub. Tide is just for the merge automation. Um, we're Munch GitHub, the only thing that we're really using for, uh, well, I guess for the, the milestone stuff, there's a milestone Munger that's specific to that. And then we're also using the submit queue still. Um, we'll switch over to Tide uh, within the next couple months, hopefully. But the uh, milestone stuff may still be done by Munch GitHub for the next few months at least. Great, thanks. Um, so another, another thing that we're going to be looking at is uh, stuff in the release branch that is missing tests or things that uh, might, in worst case, need to be reverted. Uh, I will reiterate that that is a last ditch uh, option that we do not want to be reverting things in the release branch uh, unless it's absolutely 100% necessary. Uh, much preferred to shore up things, add tests, whatever we need to do to make that work. So um, we'll be keeping a close eye on that. Uh, Mr. Miles will be cutting a beta this week, I believe. Uh, and if he says otherwise, then we'll go with that. But as far as I know, we'll be cutting a beta. And Doc's PR deadline is, is this week. Um, so this is where basically we want to have PRs in for most of the, 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 the docs, but they, they may have some missing pieces or, or they may not be fully ready for uh, public consumption. But the idea is simply that we want to capture the major pieces of, of functionality there and, and major themes. Um, and also whoever is putting in the PR for the docs is going to be the main contact. So uh, that will be the person that Nick and others haunt uh, as the docs do or do not uh, meet the various deadlines. Um, just as a reiterator to anybody working on docs and collection of that stuff, I am your servant. Put me to use if you need me to go to SIG meetings, to talk to people, to hit people up on Slack. Um, I did this in 1.8. I, I did a lot of, uh, of talking to people about documents, um, and I'm happy to do it again if need be. So um, nobody in this release team should suffer in silence. If your job is becoming onerous and you cannot manage all the things that you need to do for it, please pull me into it or, or pull somebody else from the release team to, to help you out because the heroics are not encouraged. Heroics are not cool. The, we need people to, to make this sustainable because this is a marathon and it's basically a release after release. We need to find ways and places to make it better. So that's my public service announcement about no heroism. Um, so moving along, um, Next week, uh, we're going to be looking at another beta, and that's docs uh, should be pretty well uh, in the home stretch uh, next week. Um, just to put things in perspective, uh, as far as the release timeline goes, um, we are in uh, week nine right now, and there's only really three weeks left. So this is this is really the the, the end end of the the race here that we're pushing for. Um, 
so that's pretty much it for the timeline. Uh, I put uh, yellow for the timeline because I feel like there's a, a classic amount of unknowns still lingering on the periphery that hopefully Josh and others will be able to uh, sort out. Um, I do feel like my gut, having been through this release process many times in the past, that we're probably going to hit the deadline, but I also um, am reserving judgment until probably late next week. That will give us a much better indicator. Um, so just a quick metrics review. Uh, we have uh, 36 open issues in the milestone, uh, and that's a little bit concerning. It is down from the 48 uh, last week, but still relatively high for this late in the release and probably a lot of this is going to be noise and not necessarily yeah, really i per per discussion on um the slack channel mm -hmm. um it's actually low relatively speaking uh compared to 1.9 and 1.8 uh my bigger concern is the number of issues you know while still in the low double digits the number of issues um, where the people involved in the issue are being totally unresponsive. Um, you know, as in they might be working on it, they might not, they're not providing any sort of clear indication. Um, that's what feels different. But in terms of total numbers, we're actually in better shape than we were in, in say, 1.8, at least according to dev stats. Okay. Um, my, my memory does not serve me correctly. I guess I was traumatized from 1.8. <laughs> so it seemed... Uh, Seemed less uh, less th at that point. So uh, okay, well that's good. Um, I am noting that it does, and this is something we've talked about. Is it seems like there's a lot less activity in the milestone um, this time around uh, by a lot. Um, yes, the so. the the dev stats I ran also showed, and I'll post those links in just a second. Um, also showed that we have less PRs of any kind in this release than we did in one point eight. Yeah, so it's interesting. Um, so thanks to Josh's cheery uh, assessment, I'm saying that, great, we're, we're not looking so bad right now, which is fantastic. Um, but we will need to focus on getting those PRs uh, attended to by the, the folks who are responsible. So I'll, uh, Josh, you and I will we'll talk about that and I'll, I'll gladly help and, and uh, yeah. talk to those folks. So we have, wait, who's signal again this, for this release? Test signal? Yeah, uh, CI signal. Oh, man. Why am I? Is that send? Uh, it's What's up? Hey, send. OK, so I'm still not seeing a lot of failing test issues for the for 10. Now, if that's because all the tests are passing, then that's great. I opened a tons of issues in, um, let me see. I tagged them as priority failing test and work as uh, milestone 110. Okay, I'm only, I'm seeing seven. Um, yes, uh, that's all of them from master blocking dashboard. Okay, I, I just wanna make sure that, 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 you know, the seven issues that I'm seeing in terms of failing tests represent the failing tests that we have. Yeah, I'm looking through the master blocking dashboard every day and trying to like mark all the red tests as an issue and keep checking of them. Great. Thank you so much for doing that, Sen, and, and also keeping those uh, issues up to date. All uh, right, so moving along. Um, so Josh, do you want to go ahead and uh, run through your stuff? I mean, we, we sort of, you've broken this down, the bug leaderboard that you keep, but it didn't look last time I checked to be updated for today. So if you want to just give a quick rundown on that, that'd be helpful. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't been able to update today yet. Um, sorry, meetings started at 7 a.m. and It's okay. Don't worry about until it. Now. Um, the, um, but I will have that um, after this meeting. Um, basically, we're actually down a little bit on issues than we were last week. So new issues have been opened, but more issues have been closed or taken out of the milestone. Uh, the, um, so stuff's getting closed. Um, as you'd expect from the stage of the release, the new issues are basically bugs, um, the uh, sort of newly declared bugs. Um, the, um, uh, when I have the leaderboard, you'll have more of an idea of a SIG breakdown of that. 
the main thing I'm trying to do now is that a lot of these new bugs that have been raised in the milestone are not marked approved for milestone. And so I don't know how many of them are really 1.10 issues. Um, so I'm currently in the process of pestering the SIGs to find that out, hopefully before 6 p.m. The, um, but beyond that, yeah, where like net number of open issues has gone down by three or four. Um, and again, has gone from some of the feature issues being closed to being replaced by a few new bugs um, and more data later. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Maybe just post in the, the Slack channel when you've got the, the data leaderboard and we can take a look. Um, let's go ahead and run through. Um, you know, there's a couple interesting things this time around. Um, I've noticed that one is that we haven't had any exception requests uh, yet. And I'm anticipating that we'll have some exception requests to go into the, the release branch. But um, interesting that uh, there, it seems to be feature volume, just generally speaking, is, is much slower and less aggressive uh, in this release. So um, it's going to be interesting to see how that shakes out in terms of release branch help. Um, so let's see. So send, do you want to hit a test failure uh, stuff and just, I mean, it looks like you already kind of did, but if there's anything you want to add there. Yeah, sure. Um, let me see. So most, um, it's a lot of noise from the, G, oh, the OSS GKE test because um, all of them are failing the reaching API server. Mm, there's a fix open by McDonese, so hopefully that will mm, at least make it pass the API access, accessibility check mm, and give, give us better signals. Other things, uh, one thing I just noticed is mm, I was only looking at the master blocking dashboard. When I look at the upgrade dashboard, um, the daemon set upgrade was like always failing between 1.9 and master. Um, we might need to take a look at this and because um, maybe after the code freeze we will like need signal from the upgrade jobs. Um, those are the main things. Okay, great. Um, so if you need help tracking down somebody for that or whatever we need to do, just let me know. But it sounds like you've got it and got it under control. Um, is there anything? Um, so it looks like in test infra, um, Cole, you have some stuff here, or if you're looking at the, the mini notes. Um. Oh, Cole, I lost you. Oh, sorry. Uh, I don't have the meeting notes up. Sorry, I'm pulling oh, this up okay. now. Yeah, so we're in the, um, I could share my screen. But... Yeah, I had an item for Cole, because he had a working PR to add all the 110 branch jobs. Yeah, so uh, that kind of fell off my radar, but I started work on that again on Friday, um, and I'm going to prioritize that today. Okay. Do you need, um, so in terms of the PRs to get the, the code freeze uh, stuff set up, um, do you want me to do that, or is do you are you okay doing that, or what? Who? Yeah, who I can. That? The code free stuff will be real easy. I can take care of that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. I really sincerely appreciate it. Yeah, of course. All right, docs and marketing. Um, it looks like we've got, I believe, uh, the all the right people for that. Um, Natasha, do you want to hit marketing first? Yeah, I'd be happy to. Thanks. Um, so for marketing, there are three main things on our list um, that I'm hoping to uh, wrap up or get into um, a solid uh, review by Friday. Um, the first is the blog um, announcement, of course. So this was already pre-drafted, and now, um, Jace, we're just looking to you, and um, you are um, in – to really go through and just make sure that the features that we've highlighted um, now that we're in freeze are um, correct and that yes. everything is um, communicated correctly um, and, and the way that we want to uh, to talk about this release um, and then uh, you know hopefully to finalize that up the, the following week. Um, the second one is I just wanted 
we just want to solidify the five blogs for the five blog series that will be going out after the release. Um, we've made some suggestions, but I just want to make sure that everyone's in agreement of that. Um, and then the last one is just kind of a small Q&A soundbite um, document. This is really for us to pitch media. Um, and it's kind of a Q&A, like the, the Q&A responses don't really belong in the release blog, but they are of interest to media and for stories. And so we know we want to make sure that we answer these questions for them as we're reaching out to them to cover this release. Um, so I'm hoping to get that um, almost finalized by Friday as well. Um, and then we just need to schedule the uh, post-release webinar uh, with the release team as well. Um, and then that's it for this week right now. I think we're moving along uh, really well. We just need to kind of review and finalize um, some of those pieces of materials. Okay, fantastic. Um, do you feel like you have the support you need to move forward? And obviously I will look at the, uh, the blog draft. Um, I'm sending it to myself now. Yeah, um, I, I definitely do. Um, I'm gonna send an email out to um, the team after this, um, just to remind everybody, you know, here's what you need to do and here's your deadline. Um, and then I'll probably, I probably won't start pestering people until like Thursday and the day Friday morning. Okay, fantastic. Um, anything else in ye old marketing realm? Okay. Nope, I think we're good, but does anybody have any specific questions or concerns? Cool. Thank you so much, Natasha. This is really great. I, I you know, the seeing the evolution of marketing uh, being an integrated part of the release team is really exciting. This is uh, truly so much better, and you've uh, you've been extremely diligent about keeping the the schedule tight and and getting these things and meeting your deadlines. It's uh, very very appreciated. Thank you so much. Great, thank you. Um, documents. Who wants to leap in on that? Uh, Nick, somebody, anybody? I I can I can jump in on release notes. I don't see Jennifer here, uh, Bing. but so I can't talk to the the docs in general. But I can talk to the release notes. So um, uh, Noah managed to uh, get the the uh, auto generated version uh, working, which is. Awesome. So now we can do it ourselves instead of having to bug Anthony all the time. Um, the other thing is we already have the um, the base uh, the base sort of what's new in the preview blog, uh, which we're going back and forth on where that's going to go. Uh, it'll probably be on the Kubernetes blog. So we have the the basics. The other thing is in that process, by the way, we discovered a few things that are on the release spreadsheet that were marked as, you know, uh, you know, with particular statuses that uh, it turns out are not actually accurate. So um, might be a good thing to kind of confirm that release spreadsheet as well. So um, yeah, so that's, that's where we are. So uh, probably, hey, Nick. yeah. Uh, can you please point me to to the own items in the spreadsheet? I'm verifying uh, it like uh, around once per week, so it should be accurate at least uh, on the previous week status. So please please point me to to the non accurate items from your perspective, and I'll double check that. I I will be happy to do that. I'll I'll go through the comments uh, in the blog and. and Perfect. I can, I can Thank you. Do. I think you've already been made aware of, of most or all of them. Right, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, cool. perfect, thank you. I'm just worried that there might be some we didn't get flagged, so. No yeah. problem, I'll, I'll double check the spreadsheet today, so yeah, thank, thank you yeah. for pointing to this. Yeah, no problem. Okay, yeah. so uh, yeah, so we'll probably do, uh, so we'll probably do the first cut uh, shortly on the release notes. 
So that's me. Okay. Um, if you could send me a link to uh, the PR, uh, I would love to review it ahead of time and just kind of look it over and, and be a proofreader. For, for, this, uh, for this preview blog that we're talking about? Um, for both the preview blog and also once you get the, the first cut of the release notes. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, absolutely. Yeah. The, the first cut of the release notes, we'll, we'll let everybody know about that. Fantastic. Uh, yes. And I'll send you the, and I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to post here the, uh, I'll, give me a minute to pull it up and I'll post the link to the okay. Google Doc or the, uh, this is a preview blog. This is not the official release blog. Keep in mind. Yes. That's, that's a separate animal. Okay. So, and this is right here, and it is in the chat for, or it will be as soon as I can get copy and paste to work. I'll, um, I'll link it in the, the meeting notes, so we've got it. Um, okay. All right, Nick, thank you so much. Uh, again, your work here is tremendously appreciated, and I know there's a lot to it, so. Um, <laughs> hey, I, I'm not doing anything more than anybody else. So thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, all right. So announcements. Uh, one is that we are commencing with Monday through or Monday, Wednesday, Friday meetings uh, this week. Um, because I, I want to be really careful of everybody's time, um, I may cancel these depending on if we really need them or not. I just want to have them available if if we need them. So. I think there's a very high likelihood that Wednesday's meeting will be canceled. Um, so if I do cancel, just my working agreement with the team is that I will let everybody know in, in the, the Slack channel. And I will also send out a meeting cancellation notice. So you should, between those two things, uh, know that the meeting is not happening. Uh, if in doubt, uh, just feel free to ask me and I'll, and I'll let you know. Um, but just probably, I'd say an 80% chance that Wednesday is not going to happen. So. Um, and that is all I've got for announcements or open mic. Does anybody else have any things they would like to bring up? I, I did want to check on with, uh, if Caleb, are you here still? If you are talking, Caleb, I am not hearing you, my friend. All right, looks like no audio from Caleb for some crazy reason. Um, Caleb is a- uh, oh, Caleb's headset is busted. Oh. Um, Caleb, if you could let us know in the channel if there's anything you see as issues with the betas, uh, or if that all seems like it's on track, then that would be great. Um, that was the only other question, it's just sort of beta status. It seems like that's getting routine now. There was a little bit of strangeness with that weird commit uh, thing that happened when the beta got cut, but Seems like that's been relatively well sorted out. So, all right. Um, anybody else have anything that you want to add before we adjourn? Actually, I do have one quick question. Okay. What is a okay. good deadline for feedback on the betas? Oh, uh, that's a really good question. Um, let me take a look at the schedule and see what a what a realistic time would be. Um, you, can, you can throw it in the you can throw it in the document when you when you see the blog. You'll see a comment there that says, "Hey, you should probably add a deadline here." So there you go. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'd say. Probably March 9th. Okay. Yeah, I'd say March 9th is a, is a reasonable time. Um, that's when docs are basically all PRs are reviewed and ready to merge. So that's a, that also gives us a chance to, to have that week of, of signal from the beta.2 release. So I'd say, yeah, March 9th. Okie dokie. Thank uh, you, sir. Caleb, I, if you can respond in chat, let me know if that seems reasonable. Caleb. Um, okay. 
Well, I think that's it then. Um, I truly appreciate everybody's time and uh, participation. And uh, we're going to go ahead and, uh, and adjourn for the day. So have a great Monday. And thank you again. I'll talk to you Wednesday or Friday. So thanks, everybody.